Hey y'all, Martha here. I'm just popping in today and I thought I would try and work on another um, page in my art journal. And I have some stuff here to experiment with that I've never tried before, but you will see. This is some paint colors that I got out just that I might decide to play with. It's like a light buttermilk deco art. And these two are craft smart. There's a metallic gold and metallic green that I might play with. And I'm being brave. I was uh, did not want to spend money on texture paste or anything like that. So I knew that you could make your own. So I made some and I've never used it before homemade or store bought. So this is going to be a new experience for me. So I'm a little bit scared that I'm going to mess something up. But um what i'm gonna do i guess i should probably maybe put a piece of paper <coughs> under this side so hopefully it won't mess up what i've done last week let me get another piece of paper i don't know if it will protect it but we'll try okay so when i was going through this book the other day I found a drawing that I did. I don't really even remember doing. I slightly remember it now that I'm looking at it, but I don't know when, probably a couple years ago. But I think it's pretty much all colored pencil. Not positive, but I think so. But I thought I would add this in here as part of my spread. I tore the edges just to give it a kind of nice ripped look. I chose some music paper and some paper from a paper pad that I have that I thought might look good with it. And tore some, a couple of images out of a magazine that might or might not go on here. So, I don't know, I think what I'm gonna do, let me, I had to choose myself a brush to work with. So I guess I will try this one today. What I did, I didn't wanna buy any more um, of this right now. The price is ridiculous. So I just thought I would use some regular uh, glue. It's uh, Elmer's Glue All. I don't know what it will do, but we're going to see together. And so I think what I'm going to do is just take some of these papers and kind of rip them and start gluing them down. I don't have anything planned other than use, try and use some of these materials that I've picked out. And uh, if I think of something else while we're at it, I just might add that too. At this point, I decided to speed it up a little bit because it really ran on long and longer and longest and uh, I didn't really think you'd want to sit through over an hour of um, be t uh, talking and working. And so I just sped it up so it would be a little bit more um, easier to digest. And so I just kept working and um, adding papers and adding papers and adding ink and adding paint and... The piece turned out at the end nothing like I had thought it would. Uh, I just was having a hard time getting everything to um, be cohesive and look right together. Um, 
so and you'll see later on at the end of the video i just kind of cut it off because i began having a hard time with um the texture paste that i made and i really didn't know how to use it and i needed to turn it off so i could clean up my mess and kind of just concentrate and figure out what to do but you will see at the end, the end results, and I think I kind of like it, and I hope you will too. So I will uh, and probably do it, instead of doing a voiceover, I will probably uh, come on and uh, just share you the end result with you. Okay, I hope you enjoy watching my process.
Okay, y'all. I'm back with the finished product. Can you believe that I got this from where I started? Let me give you a little bit of a closer up look. I had my doubts about it. But I think I like the result. It's all shiny gold and green. So let me see if I can remember where I left you off. Uh, I was trying to do the texture paste and it got all globby and weird on me. So I kind of scraped off. I started here, I think with one of the, this butterfly and it got really weird. You can still see the imprint of the butterfly, but I didn't like that stark white uh, of the butterfly and the letters. There's a lot of nice texture though. So I went over it first with a little bit of green um, ink, alcohol ink, I guess it is. And uh, it was just too bright green, so I just started doing some distressing here and there and adding some gold and green metallics. And then I just kind of did it all over the page because I just thought it looked good and it just was, I didn't like that stark white on this page. And then I just used my Posca pen and went around my honeycomb stencil in places and then I went around the edges with the black Posca pen and then I kind of just smudged it out to distress it even more. It was showing up better than the, um, the oxide and the ink pads and stuff. So I liked it a lot better. And then I decided to use my stencils I got from Dollar Tree and just add some words that I thought would look good with it because, um, I don't know, I just thought they suited the look of it. And so I'm really amazed at what came out. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it, but I do believe I do. It's really different than what I would usually do. So, you know, like this is kind of more my style. But I kind of love this, it's different. And, my sunflowers and other flowers and my birds, you can barely see them. They're just peeking through, but I don't know, I just kind of like it. And you know, I really can't, all that stressing and I did about those music notes, I can't see them at all. <laughs> but that's the way it is. You just keep layering and layering till you come up with something you like. You start with what you think is gonna happen and you wind up in a whole different place. But anyway, I think I love it. It's really different. So, let me see. Is there anything else I wanted to tell you about it? I read, went around it with a little brown and a little gold and a little oxide, a little ink pad. But I just wound up the uh, green metallic and the gold metallic just kind of took it where I wanted it to go. And I love the texture. My uh, homemade texture paste worked really well. And then at the end, I went over it with Mod Podge. Just, I'm not really sure that it needed it, but I just kind of wanted to unify everything and that's what uh, Mod Podge seems to do. And uh, so, I hope you like it. And I wished I could have done the whole thing on camera, but it just took me so long I couldn't. So, please comment, please like, and please subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. All right. See you next time. Bye now.